Hi guys, and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up a WordPress website on Amazon Web Services Lightsail. Today's video will cover how to create a new WordPress site utilizing Amazon's free tier, how we can create a backup of that website, and then also launch it. Plus, there'll be no need for a domain name today. However, if you do want to add one in the future, that's no problem. I will cover how to do this as well in my future videos. If you check out my channel, you should be able to find it there. Now, the only prerequisite that we'll need today is that you have an Amazon Web Services account. LightSail is an easy to use virtual private server that offers us everything we need to build an application or website. It's ideal for simpler workloads, quick deployments, and it offers us a low maintenance and feasible way to get started on Amazon Web Services. Okay guys, so we're just gonna jump in and open up the Amazon Web Services Management Console. Now you should see a screen similar to this once you've logged in. And once you're here, just go up to services at the top left and get to light sale here. Once this opens up, we'll be able to see our running instances. Now for me, I already have two running instances, but you might not have any at the moment. So to create an instance, click on this button over here, it says create instance. Now here, we get to choose our platform and also applications. We'll just be sticking to what's already defaulted, which is a Linux slash Unix operating system with the WordPress application. If you scroll down, you'll be able to choose your instance plan. Now the instance plan is what dedicates how much resources and also the pricing that's related to that as well. We're just going to leave it on the free tier. And now we have to select a name for our WordPress instance, which this one can just be called WordPress AWS underscore light sale tutorial. And then we just create the instance. Okay guys, so once our instance has finalized and created, we're just gonna head and click on. And here we see our instance is running and our public IP is there. And we can connect to it now using SSH. However, we're just gonna try and connect to it now via the public IP which will take us to the WordPress application. So I'll copy that and I'll paste it in here. And now you see we are presented with an actual WordPress website which has been created via LightSail. Now obviously we want to be able to you know, add plugins and create new pages and do all sorts of other stuff, right? However, we need to be able to access the WordPress admin dashboard. So what we do is we go to this IP here and we type slash WP dash admin. Now it asks us for a username and password. However, we haven't been provided with one yet, or at least we haven't seen one. So we have to go ahead and go back to Amazon Light Sale and retrieve the credentials needed to sign in to the WordPress admin dashboard. So we'll go here and connect using SSH. Now once this connects, all we're going to type in here is cat bitnami underscore credentials, just like that. Now you can see here the default username and password is user and all these funky characters right here. So I'll just go ahead and copy this and then I'm going to say exit out of here. I'll just close that off. So now, if I go back here, if I go user, paste that in, and log in, and there we go. We're signed in now to the WordPress admin dashboard, where we can create new pages and do all sorts of stuff. Now that we're here, we want to create a new user, so that we don't have to remember that funny password, and you know, have our own username and everything where we can do all this stuff anyway. So, we're going to go to the users tab, Add new. After adding user, I'll just go Daniel123. Then you add in your email. Name. And then here, where it has generate password, I'm just going to cancel this out. And I'll add my own one. I'm just going to say test123. Now, this is a weak password. 
but we don't really care because we're just you know getting things set up so confirm the use of the weak password and it's all good now you want to make sure that you check this box here and make this administrator otherwise you'll set yourself up as a, as a subscriber and you won't be able to get into the admin dashboard and then add a new user now if we go back out and then we try logging in Now we can log in. Okay guys, so now that we have our site up and running, I'm not sure if you noticed, but back on the template blog site that we just built, there's this little Bitnami icon down here. Now this little thing will keep popping up every time somebody tries to visit our website unless we disable it. So that's what we're gonna do. So if we go back to Amazon Web Services and then reconnect using SSH, And then from here, what you're going to type is sudo slash opt slash bitnami slash apps slash wordpress oops, slash bnconfig and then dash dash disable underscore banner space one. And you should see something like that return. If you get an error message, maybe just check that you typed it correctly, but you should, that should be okay. So once that's done, I'm gonna exit out of here. Close this off. Now if I re refresh the page here now, you can see it's gone. All right. So now what we're gonna do is create a backup or what's called a snapshot of our new created instance. Now backups, I would recommend you do just regularly as a you know maintenance thing, just in case something ever goes wrong. But especially if you're trying to do, uh, if you're trying to add new things onto you, onto your application or your website, which you're a little bit unsure of. So that would be something like plugins, which is going to change a lot of pages or something. I would recommend you take a backup just in case things go wrong. You've got something that you can go back to and not start from scratch, or spend too much time trying to figure it out. You, you know you have that backup ready to go. So, all right, so what we're gonna do now is just create a backup or a snapshot. And we simply just go to snapshots and then from here, create snapshot. And we can call this whatever we want. I'm gonna call this just that name, but I'll get rid of these numbers and I'll say snapshot and create. Now this can take a couple of minutes, so just be patient for a little bit and then once it's done you'll see it uh, turn green and our snapshot will be available okay guys so our snapshot has completed you can see it's no longer turning and we can now create a new instance from our snapshot now i just wanted to also highlight while i'm here actually that if you did want to turn on automatic snapshots you can do that from this little toggle button down here now you can see amazon says they automatically will snapshot or backup your instance every day and store seven re most recent snapshots so that is an option if you want to do that as well automatically and you can sort of set and forget it however just be wary that if you do go through this option that you will uh, probably incur incur more uh, expenses as you know you're taking up more resources so I think that yeah they, they show you here but um, that's just an option you can do as well so I'll say no to that for now all right so if we want to create a new instance from this current snapshot or this current backup, all we have to do is just go over here and then create new instance. And now we'll see the familiar screen that we had previously uh, when we first set up our initial instance, right? So just again, I'm going to leave pretty much everything the same. Now, something to note as well. Uh, previously, we selected the free tier. Now, when you create a new instance from a snapshot or a new instance in general, um, obviously you can you know select which tier, which tier you want. But um, when you're looking to upgrade, say our previous one that we created, our initial instance, the only way to upgrade it is to create a snapshot and then you know select a new tier with extra resources and whatnot. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, purposes today, we'll just keep it as uh, this one here. 
and this one again we can call it whatever we want I'm gonna call this AWS light sale um, from snapshot or from snap and then create instance and this will take us back to the previous page we saw before where over here on the right this AWS light sale tutorial is our initial instance that we created which is over here which we set up previously and now this one is starting to fire up okay guys so once your snapshot has finished and is finalized and you can now access it we're going to just test it out just how we did the initial one so we'll click on it and now we have a new public IP for our new snapshot copy that and paste it in here and there we go so now we've got two instances one which came from a backup and our initial one now you might notice actually though that the Bitnami icon on our snapshot is not, not there either because it has copied our settings and everything that we did previously to this new instance that we created from the backup so now I'm just going to close this off I'm going to go back and I'm actually just going to stop this stop this instance that we created from the backup because we don't need that anymore now it's stopping now and I'll go back to here and once that's stopped I will just delete that so I'm not receiving any additional charges for having a second instance up if you want to leave it there that's totally fine so now going back to our initial instance that we created you can go ahead and add plugins or install a new theme and start building your website from scratch all right guys so before we wrap up there is one last thing I should mention uh, currently our IP our public IP that we use to access the website uh, is dynamic it's not static so what that means is basically every time that we stop and start uh, this instance this IP here is going to change and you know uh, we, we, we don't want that especially if later, later in the future we're trying to connect a domain name or something to this uh, the IP has to stay the same otherwise you know the domain name will become uh, linked to IP that does not exist so uh, to create a static IP is really simple so going back to our Amazon Web Services light sale uh, dashboard here let's so go back out and then go into our instance that we created go to networking and just from here you're gonna go attach static IP oops and then from here you want to go create static IP and this can be called whatever you want so I'll just call this again AWS light sale tutorial and create cool so now we've got a static IP which now we can use to connect to our WordPress site so if I copy this and go over here paste that in now this IP is linked to our WordPress instance that we created. Okay guys, that wraps up the video. If you found this useful or helpful to you, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, you can check out my channel for other videos too, where I cover how to encrypt your site with SSL or connect it to a domain name. Thanks guys.